today, John Open Road Train Adventures with another exciting episode. And this time, we're going to be doing tarping. That trailer behind us needs to be tarped. We're taking that all the way to Queensland. Well, I don't know whether I, but it doesn't matter whether I am or not. It needs to be tarped. We're going to do that now. So I thought I'd show you how to do it. y'all the wind's picking up now see that center that center bit there is still a bit loose so the front's pretty well pulled down so we're going to pull the back here um now we'll pull from this side first so to do this i hope you can see i have no idea about the camera angle always thread from the back forward and then going to pull down i wrap my finger around like that or hand like that and so I can really just yank it down like that get some get some good strength into it and we we'll just quickly tie it off so it doesn't go anywhere and we'll do the same for this side Whew. this is the most important part just the, the getting the, the back and the front the envelopes done Tell you what, this tarp must be bigger because there's a lot more room in this tarp to go to the uh, to go right down to the base here. So we're going to pull that behind. That's it behind that one too. We can tighten that later. Right. Let's see. Go from here. Go behind there. So we're going to, we really want to pull as hard as we can here. I mean, you, you can't break it. You, it'll break if you don't do it tight enough. So as hard as you can, that's, that's reasonable, but I want to go tighter. So we're going to go one more. I'll show you this part later. Just got to get this all going. So now I've got two, two swivel points. If you know about cranes and stuff, I'm gonna yank this right up. Look at that, I can get heaps out of it now. Let's pull this out of the way. Oh yeah. Right, how we're looking 
we want this this edge really supposed to go to the combing rail it looks pretty good actually is pull this around now and give this all right Give it heaps. Us. Us. If you don't say us, you can't get it as tight. You gotta, you gotta say the us. <laughs> oh. After I get the envelope done, which is what we're doing now, I take off my left glove because it's, I just find it too hard to do two gloves. Look at this. I'm having, I'm struggling with this. Give that all. That's it. Oh, I'll have to get this out. This is not going to go anywhere anyway. Not now. Let's get this envelope happening. So we want this to be nice, and it's pretty well nice now. So it's a good start. I'll tell you what I've seen people do this really fast I'm no I'm, I'm okay but I'm no expert so one of our bosses his name is Frank he's won competitions in tarping so he's uh, basically the fastest tarper and uh, the competition was involved him tarping a full trailer and then untarping it as the fastest and um, he won and I'll tell you what, man, he, uh, I don't beat him. Now, the way I'm doing this, that's a little dodgy. I, I could have folded that up, but anyway. Right. Just do the other envelope. Other side. I 
many people will take hours to tarp and that's kind of well not hours but sorry a long time to tarp because this here I mean it's looking pretty good now it's got to be nice now if it's all tight you're not going to get any flapping and stuff and it's in the flapping that tarps break so as tight as you can do a tarp that's the way you need it done people used to call pigtails if there's a big pigtail at the end it's no good so always make sure it's nice and nothing showing now we'll tighten this one that's um, looking reasonable I don't think you can complain about that now this one here I'll show you how to do it properly if you got too much there are several ways you can do it I will do it the way that we fold it up so this one here I won't pull it all the way through. I'll leave, you know, about that much on, tighten that, and then put it through the other way. So now we've got half the length to worry about, as you can see. And then see if we can thread this through here in order to get rid of any hanging pigtail. Right. Ooh. Hopefully that'll stop. Oh, that's shocking. Come on. Oh, I'm not sure how I have to go over the top. And I'm a bit of a perfectionist. It's got to be. It's got to be really good, or I have to start again. Right. Okay. So as you can have a look, there you go. The back is nice. The middle is it pulled reasonably tight, so that's good. We come to the front now, throw that glove away and hopefully it doesn't fly away. Let's uh let's get this going. Once you've done the front and back, you're basically halfway there. All you gotta do is is uh do the sides up and you're away. So I'll do this twice put a second run in it right I see how, how much tighter I can get on that just without having a second actually I don't know what you if you're a crane driver pulley it's like a second pulley that's it reasonable oh no oh, well, we'll fix that up after that's supposed to be behind it no, come on been watching some American um, shows their tarps seem to be very different I mean this is what I call a tarp it's this canvas but what they use well it's it's not like this. It's more like a plastic, what we call a plastic tarp, which oddly enough on both these trailers I don't have. Normally I've got a plastic tarp and the real tarp, the canvas tarp. Not this time. The plastic tarp we use for well, smaller stuff because normally it's not as, not uh, it's, it's as long, but not as, wide so when I'm going to do the side I will show you in a little more detail how to do this um, 
you may get an idea already just by watching this is very good okay our envelope is uh is nearly nearly ready or finished go 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 tell you what after this um i where am i that's right so all the traffic you can hear ah uh, here comes the car so this is the the uh, eastern freeway you know that goes to melbourne so i'm close to adelaide or close to murray bridge and um yeah so that's where i am that's why there's so much traffic on the road all the traffic going towards Talon Bend or Murray Bridge or out of maybe even Melbourne. If you're watching this and you're a truck driver, maybe you passed me and you didn't even know it. So from here, I'm going to go to Talon Bend OTR where I'm going to get Walk in the Box, which is my favourite as you, you may know. Okay, just finish up this side and we are, well, we've, we've done the main, the important part. One more time. Oh, I'll, I'll name it myself. A second pulley, that's what we'll, we'll do. We'll call it a second pulley. If you know what this these uh, this is called, the uh, the knots that I'm doing, put it in the comments and um, see who can get it right. So this. These bags of sand I've picked up, they they took a little while. Sorry, they settled pretty quickly. So very quickly they um, I had to tighten the straps. Hmm. Look at that, that is beautiful. I tell you, I, I feel um I feel pretty good because the first trailer, if I had done the video on that one, that did not go as uh as well or as, as sorry. I, I, I was able to tie it up nicely or fast, but it as you can see from there it's no, it's, it wasn't as long. This one here seems to fit the trailer nicely. That one does not. All right, here you go. So now what we're gonna do is do the sides. Now, some, everyone's got their own idea about this. Some people say start from the middle. Some people say start from the ends. Some people say only start from one end and work to the other. Right. Hmm. Yeah, it's now I just pull that down by going like this and this down like that, and then we'll hopefully we've got enough just to get one, which is all I think we're going to get. Now you might think, oh wow, there's not enough on that. How's that going to grab? But believe me, that won't come undone. If it does, well, thanks for making me look like a fool. No, that won't come undone. Now, that's uh, that's about right, that side. We'll just check the other side, do the front of this too. Keep the uniform, we'll do the same thing as the other side. I didn't do this, do it this way on the other side. This tarp is uh, it's performing a little bit 
differently. Now these ropes aren't as good as the other other tarp. The other tarp had really nice, um, how to put it, um, thicker ropes. These are than cut into me. That's why you need gloves because when I used to do these, I used to use no gloves, and I'd have blisters all over me. Yeah. So now I just this one here is just really just to use to do the fiddly stuff. Actually, I'll do this the other way. So. So how I'm going to do this, as you can see it overhangs, it's going to overhang all the way. So how I do this, I'm going to lift this. Oh, also, when we do these, I'm going to now show you, we go always behind the pole to go back up. Then from here, oh, actually, better put this. So we're going to go behind. We're going to go up, we'll go up about here and then yank down with all. Oh, now we're just going to lift this up a bit. Give it heaps, give it heaps and then we're going to go back around and then pull this down here just to give it the ultimate tightness and looking good so that's pretty tight when we do the other side hopefully things will just tighten up a little bit better it's more than likely when we get down the road we're going to have to do um, redo a lot of this anyway that's too short to go through that so we don't have to we want to kill some of this length so I'm going to go the full length up and now we pack this underneath pull that under like that so then pull down that's it and we'll just we'll go one more put another pulley in it oh. Okay, thanks for that. Start again. It's hard when you have to you have to kind of pull it, hold it tight. Sometimes the legs go. Let you know who's in charge the rope. This one here will shorten the length. And then we beat this behind in order to keep it looking neat like that. So we're just going to work our way along. We don't have to go over and over with this, it's not, it's not going to be possible anyway, as you can see, this is going to be tight enough. Now the other way of getting rid of loss of length, I'll just do this one more time is to run this up oh this will do so we get rid of this length just by running up to here and then we'll tie it off one more get rid of the pigtail right on So what do you reckon? This is a tedious exercise. Just going from rope to rope all the way along. <laughs> you know, in the comments, you guys have been saying you, you want more engine noise. And then other people say, love the music, I want more music. So 
it is really difficult to get the balance right. Um, the bigger my channel gets, you can't please everybody. So, you know, some of you are probably thinking, less voice, less talking, shut up. So, <laughs> yeah, where do you draw the balance? I'm just gonna have to do what I think works and go with that. And if it's wrong, well, I guess it'll be a mass exodus. No, don't do it. So in a desperate attempt to, I guess to stop you or turning across to the Gulf or something like that as I do this, um, who's got any comments, or sorry, suggestions about stories I could do? Anything that you'd like to see that I haven't done, or maybe I'd like to, you'd like me to do again, maybe better or different or whatever, let us know, because um, I'm certainly open to suggestions. This is all about you guys. I mean, without you guys, I don't have a channel. I'm just just wasting my time and stuff like that. So, tell us, what would you like to see? Maybe, where would you like me to go? Once we do the other side, that should all pull, pull across. And plus we'll put a strap in the middle just to keep things nice and tight. As I said, a, a very tight um, tarp won't break, but uh, if you have it loose and it's flapping, that's where tarps break. It's in the flapping. I guess it's like a tire. That's why tires uh, pop, not because they're over over tight. It's because they're flat or down, dobby. As you drive, the uh, the tire as it goes around, this part here flexes. So when it hits the ground, as you can imagine, it flexes out. And just imagine that the rubber movement. It's really fast. This all heats up until. Well, it pops because it gets too hot. And that's why it gets hot, because of the flexing of the rubber. And it's the same as your car tyre. Um, some people say, you know, you put, put, you know, say 32 pound or something. Well, you know, the, the, uh, the more you put in there, like 42, 48, um, it's going to be more economical. Now people say put a lower um, lower pound because it's I guess it's smoother you know it's like not as rough but uh, yeah it will glide along the road a lot better when you've got a lot of um, a lot of air pressure in there rather than a bit dobby that's no good. Now I'm just gonna go the other side just for a change Get away from the noise, doesn't that just annoy you? Right. Uh, oh, well. Oh. Gee, I'm forgetting what I did already on that side. I guess it doesn't really matter. This is all going to pull down anyway. There's heaps of rope left, so I'm gonna go one more time. This. Ah, whoops. Oh yeah.
So it looks like I've really run out of things to say. <laughs> I can't talk continuously. I'm not like that kind of person that, you know, I watch some of the American channels and don't know how they do it, but they just talk continuously for the whole, well, time they've pushed record. So I can't do that. I don't think that's, that's not my um, idea of a good show. Seems to work for the Americans though. They, they're um, flat out there. one more time with another pulley so if you come up with the idea of what it's called what's this like a truckies hitch what do you reckon it's called Let's keep this all you can So let's do this one slowly. So we've gone behind, depending on the length of this, we might put the, the knot in the middle, but we're gonna go from the top because we don't have much to play with here. Fold this up so it looks nice when this comes down. Let's just put this on the other side. And it just give it heaps. Let's try this again. Oh, that's a must, isn't it? Now, when we go under here, we're gonna pull under and go to the, we'll call it the right side of it. And then when we go back under over the pole, this time we're gonna to go to the left of it. So right of it, then the left of it. And this really locks in the rope. This time up, we'll, we'll just see if we can halve this. I'm not that keen on harping like this. I don't do that often. Just because it's, I don't know, it just doesn't feel like it's doing it as tight. And then you've got all this crap in the middle and it's hard to, hard to feed anywhere. And uh, anyway. No water's getting into here. Here, remember, oh, this time I've gone to the left, which means the next round I go to the right. Just do the opposite. Whatever you start with, do the opposite for the second time around. I tell you what, if you've got a better way, if, you, you're, if you're watching me do this, and you think, oh, you can see how you could do something better, Tell us in the comments, because as I said, I'm no expert. I'm not the, the know-it-all or the, the be-all, end-all of tarping. I've been shown how to do this by some pretty good blokes, but you can always learn a better way. And just because I do it one way, and I think this is the best way, doesn't mean it is the best way, and you can always learn from someone else. So, if you've got a different way of doing it, tell us about it. Um, just. You know explain yourself well in the comments so i could follow it and um who knows maybe you'll uh give me a better way of doing it now every tarp job is different some tarp jobs you've got to um do it one way another tarp job you've got to well if the, if you've got more rope to play with you can do it different ways so I don't always just do it this way and that's it. So I haven't been told if I'm running this up to Queensland or not. I'm kind of hoping I don't because I've been home for a while and I really want to go home and see my family because you know, I've got one. <laughs> Otherwise, it'll get to a point where my wife says, don't bother coming home. You never come home. 
No, she's not like that, she's straight. Hey, uh, pull this really tight. Yes, yeah. Yeah, see, look at that. It's like a, like a, um, uh, what do you call it? A guitar string, this is what you want. I think it's uh, time for a nice old sleep after this. When I have breaks or sleeps or rests, you know, um, I only. I have a, a, a sleep for about oh, 15, 16, 17 minutes. That's the max I have. Um, you know, I've been told by different people, and, and it seems to be true for me anyway, that if you take if you take an extended sleep, like let's just say over half an hour, your body starts to slow down, and then when you re wake up, well kind of feeling a bit groggy and stuff because your body's starting to fall into that deeper sleep I, I find that 15 to 17 minutes is really good man I can be driving along feeling doughy as all pull over for that short break and wake up feeling just oh, just yeah no, no worries at all I'm off If you're driving along in the car and you feel like that, well, pull over and try it. It certainly does work. Ah, yeah. Okay, I realize I haven't shown you how to do that part. So, let's, uh, hang on, what are we doing here? Let's do that next time, before I finish the tarp. I tell you what, if I show too many more secrets, you guys will all just be able to jump into a truck and you'll be right, you'll be saying, oh, I know how to do it, I know how to do it all. I've seen road train adventures, he's, I've, I've, yep, I don't need to show, be shown how to do anything. Seen it, how to do it all, I can just get into a truck and go and if I'm not sure about something, I just watch that Road Train Adventures video. That's what YouTube's for, isn't it? It's like instead of Googling for something now, it's just, just watch a video on it. Oh, it's going to show you. Okay, 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 here we go. So, we're going behind the bar. Go up. Now, so we hold the two strings. Put my hand to the right of it. So I'm going to be pulling up. And like this. I hold this part. I'm going to just make a loop here. And thread this, not this side of the loop, behind the loop, like that. Pull it through. Then grab hold of the loose part of the rope. Run it once it once it pulls and gets tight a little, pull this down a little, and that's it. It's not gonna come off. Just give it heaps, give it heaps, and that won't come off. Tell 
what we're nearly getting there. We're only nearly finished. This is great. Get up the road for a bit of walk in the box noodles. Right, let's just go to the other side and see how this is progressing. Yes. Oh, come on. Now you think there's a lot of trucks now? No, there's all the trucks are at night time. So when you want something from Adelaide to go to Melbourne, well, all the trucks that are picking those items up for you during the day, go back and they get put onto a truck to leave in the evening. And um, so you can have your stuff tomorrow. Not a bad system. I'm gonna do this one a little differently. Need to do that. Some more tension. Set up another pulley. That's it. Give it heaps. Come on, there you are. Yep. See, that's not that's tight.
Are we finished? Well, let's have a look. As I said, oh, so we're going to put a strap around that just to keep that from flapping around. It's, uh, you know, pretty good. Can't spend here all day. We do like to, oh, jeez, I'm getting a bit of a list already anyway. So let's throw this over, just like that. So on, get a ratchet. Go under, because I'm sure. Hmm, maybe we need two. Uh, might be all right. I'm going to put one on it for now. Once I tighten it up, we'll have a look at what it, how it drives. from this noise. Now with this, we're gonna put this under here. I'm not sure whether I can. Oh, that may be too loose. It might come out. I'm gonna make sure this is nice and tight, just in case it does come out. Always, when you put a strap under, you can always put it towards the back, so as, as you can imagine, the wind's coming from here, pushing it that way. So we don't want to put it from, from this side, because of course it's going to probably come out. That's, yeah, I may have to put another one. I'll see what it, how it flows. Because it's lower, it may not even flap. Oh, oh. right. Put all this away and um, let's get going. Look at that truck. Is that clean or what? Oh, you gotta love that. I've uh, been to Perth and back and I, it's just been raining continuously. So it's pretty bad. Anyway, it is what it is. So, hope you hope you enjoyed. Now you've seen me hook up, so I'm not gonna hook, hook that up, but um, that's what I did earlier. And now we're gonna back that up to the dog. Remember, the dog is the second trailer. And um, let's head off and get some rock in the box. It's a half decent job. Righto. Thanks for watching. Do like and subscribe, and we'll see you next time.